Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome back to my website if you are watching this on Gotcha SEO. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to find keywords using Ahrefs. And this is my favorite tool for finding keywords because what you can do is you can actually just extract keyword ideas from your competitors. And that means you don't even have to do keyword research. You can actually just take their keywords and go out there and start trying to rank for those keywords. And I'm gonna show you some really cool techniques in the video you're about to watch that you can filter these keywords and identify the keywords that are gonna be lower competition and most importantly, are going to be easier to rank for. So with that said, let's jump right in. All right, guys, so I am in the Ahrefs dashboard and what I'm gonna be showing you are several different ways that you can find keywords using this tool. So I'm going to pretend like you have a website or a business that is in the health industry. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be extracting ideas from health websites. So the first thing that you have to do is go to Site Explorer in the navigation. And then what you want to do is grab a competitor's URL and you're going to put it into the search bar. So for this example, I'm going to pretend like Greatest is my competitor. So once you've put the URL into the search bar, just go ahead and run the search. And then after the search is complete, what you want to do is go to the left-hand side under organic search and click on organic keywords. So just in this section alone, there is a ton that you can do from a keyword research standpoint. So the one thing that I love to do is to leverage these filters that Ahrefs gives you. So for example, let's say I have a brand new website. I don't have a ton of authority. And I know that I'm not going to be able to rank for some of these super competitive keywords with a ton of search volume. What I can do is I can actually change the volume here in the filter section. And you can do from, so for example, if this is a brand new website, we'd want to go after lower volume keywords. So we'll, maybe we'll do from 100 to 1000. And so now what the tool is going to show us is Generally, you're going to see more long tail keywords. You're going to see keywords with a lot more words. And in general, these are going to be a little bit easier to rank for if you have a brand new website. And one other thing you can do is you can actually go to the words filter and you can actually determine how many words these phrases should be showing. So for this example, we could do from four words. And so now you've really narrowed the criteria and now you're really looking at some long tail keywords. It would be much easier to rank for if you have a brand new website. And one other thing I really like to do is I like to go to the position tab. And the reason why I like using the position filter is because you can actually see what keywords your competitor is not ranking well for. And then you can go out and try to attack those keywords knowing that they're not doing as well for those. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time they'll be ranking for a really competitive keyword, but they'll also be ranking for a lot of long tail keywords they're not necessarily going to rank super well for a lot of these related long tail keywords, just because that page is probably not specifically targeting those long tail keywords. So that gives you an opportunity to go out there and target those. So usually in this case, I would just do from position 11, and then maybe to position 20. So now you are going to be exposed to all kinds of long tail keywords that you can go after if you have a brand new website. Now, of course, if you have established authority, then you should mess around with these filters. But just these filters alone make Ahrefs a great tool because you can really get a ton of great content ideas just using these filters and messing around with them and trying to figure out the best keywords for your particular situation and the authority of your website at this time. And then in addition to that, there are some other filters that you can mess around with. You can do the KD, which is just the keyword difficulty. So you could do from 1 to 30, and you're going to get a lot of keywords that Ahrefs believes are uncompetitive based on their data. And then you can also look at CPC. And this is actually an interesting filter to use because if a keyword has a high CPC, typically that keyword will also be very competitive from an organic search standpoint as well. Because it means that that keyword or keyword phrase is very valuable. And when there's a highly valuable phrase, you're going to see a lot of capital flowing into Google AdWords and also flowing into SEO as well. And then lastly, you have the traffic and features tab. I don't mess around with the traffic tab too much because it's not going to be very accurate to determine how much traffic these particular keyword phrases are going to get. But if it's something you're interested in, if you just want to get an estimate, 
Ahrefs can give you a pretty decent gauge, but it's not going to be as accurate as getting actual data from Google Analytics. And so the next thing I want to show you is actually under the organic search section again, click on the new option. And so I love going to this new section because Ahrefs is going to show you all of the new keywords that your competitor is ranking for. And that is an indication that they either just published a new piece of content that's targeting those keywords or that they're starting to really focus on promoting those keywords much more. So they're starting to push up in the organic search results. That gives you an opportunity to make sure that you're staying up with your competitors. So if you see that they just started ranking for all these new keywords for a particular page, then that may signal that you should try to create a similar page around that keyword to compete with them before they build up too much authority and before they establish themselves on the first page. And so it's a good idea to check this new tab under the organic keywords pretty frequently with your competitors so that you can make sure that you're going after a lot of the keywords that they're going after as well. And you're trying to beat them on those keywords. And one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these keywords are going to be considered new for several different reasons. So first of all, it may just be because Ahrefs hasn't crawled these particular keywords and these pages until now. And so now it's saying they're new keywords, even though this competitor has been ranking for those keywords maybe for a long time. Or maybe the competitor got a bunch of new backlinks. Maybe the competitor's authority is growing. Their overall website authority is growing and Google's starting to trust their website more. So now they're starting to rank for more keywords. There's all kinds of reasons for the keywords that you're going to see here. But still, it's not a bad idea to keep an eye on it to make sure that you're keeping up with your competitors and you're going after keywords that they are also going after, even if you're going to go after variations of their main keywords. So the next thing I want to show you is the top pages section. So under the organic search section, still click on top pages. And this is a really great section because you're going to see what pages are performing well from an organic search standpoint for your competitors. Not only can you try to replicate some of these pages that they've created and you can create something better and different than what they have, but you can also see what pages have performed the best. So you're getting an opportunity to see what ideas are actually qualified. So in this case, you're going to see that Greatest has all kinds of pages that are performed exceptionally well from an organic search standpoint. And so, for example, you'll see that they rank for the keyword healthy breakfast. So you'd want to go to this page and see how they were able to rank for such a competitive keyword and examine their page and then try to figure out how you can create something that's different and better than what they have created. So you can try to extract some of their keyword market share away from them so that they're not completely dominating this keyword. So the next tool that I want to show you in Ahrefs is the competing domains tool. So under organic search, click on competing domains. And in this section, you're going to be able to see all of the domains that your competitor is also competing against, which would mean that these are also going to be your competitors as well. It would be a good idea to go through and analyze all of these competitors in addition to Greatest or whatever your competitor is. Ahrefs gives you all the information you need to determine who are the top dogs in organic search in your particular industry. So the next thing that I want to show you is the content gap tool. So under organic search, click on content gap. So this is one of my favorite tools because you get to see the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, but you are not ranking for. So in this case, let's just pretend that Greatest is our website and we're doing an SEO campaign for it. And we want to see what keywords WebMD is ranking for that we are not ranking for. So all you have to do to use this little tool is just put your competitors' URLs into the first three fields. And you could do more than three if you want, but three is a good starting point. And then, of course, under the section that says, but the following target doesn't rank for, you want to put your domain there. So in this case, I'm just going to use WebMD. So now what this tool is going to do is it's going to show you all of the keywords that WebMD is ranking for and that Greatest is not ranking for. So in this case, you want to go through this entire list. You want to extract all of these keyword ideas and see which ones you want to go after so that you can compete with your competitor on these keywords so that they're not just smooth sailing ranking for these keywords. You want to try to create something that's different and better than what is currently ranking for them. So just this tool alone, you can find a ton of content ideas. If you just keep cycling through all your competitors, 
you're going to come up with hundreds or even thousands of keyword ideas that you can use for SEO. So the last thing that I want to show you in this video is Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. So in the navigation at the top, click on Keyword Explorer. And then in this section, you can enter any keywords related to your industry. And what this tool is going to do is it's going to show you all kinds of data relating to that keyword or keywords that you put in there. And that's also going to give you a bunch of related keywords that you can go after as well. So in this case, I'm just going to use a very general keyword. I'm just going to use the keyword fitness. So this tool is great for qualifying keyword ideas, but in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can use this tool to extract ideas away from the parent topic. So in this case, if you just scroll down to the keyword ideas section, you're going to see right away all kinds of variations that Ahrefs believes are relevant to that parent topic that you searched. And so a lot of the time, you're going to find longer tail keywords, you're going to find keywords that are easier to rank for in this section. And generally, it's a good idea to go after keywords that aren't the most competitive keywords in existence. It's good to go after keywords that your website is actually capable of ranking for. And that means you always need to keep in mind the authority of your website relative to the competition for whatever keyword you want to go after. So in this case, you would need a very strong website to rank for the general keyword fitness. And so it would make sense for you to go after other keywords that are related to fitness, but not as competitive. So those would be longer tail keywords like you're seeing here. And so one thing you can do is you can actually just copy one of these keywords and go back to the Keyword Explorer section and put it in there. And now you're going to get a new set of keyword ideas. And you can just keep cycling that process over and over until you land on some keyword ideas that are appropriate for your business. And so that is all you need to know for finding keywords using Ahrefs. This is one of my personal favorite tools for finding keywords, and you can really spend a ton of time in this tool just extracting keywords out of it and extracting keyword ideas away from your competitors because there is just a ton of information that you can get just using this tool alone. And in fact, you could do the bulk of your keyword research just using this tool and maybe a couple others. But this one alone is going to really help you find a ton of keyword ideas for your business. So that is all you need to know for finding keywords using Ahrefs. This is a very powerful tool for finding keywords. And I use it for every single SEO campaign that I work on. And I highly recommend that you do the same. So if you enjoyed this video and you got a lot of value out of it, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be creating a ton of SEO training videos this year and into the future. So I really wanna share those with you, so please subscribe. And if you really like this video, please share it with your friends or your colleagues. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.